2,000 people without power. I just checked KUB's map. We're going to check in now with Fernando Garcia Francesini, who is live near the UT campus, and we see the flood water. He is standing in. Fernando? Well, John, the water levels have certainly started going down since we did our last live hit here outside the University Walk Apartments on 23rd Street. But you can probably still see there are still many cars that are partially covered in water. You know, earlier today we spoke to Knoxville's engineer, stormwater engineering chief, and he was telling us, you know, crews have been out all day fig figuring out why is it that the water level, it's taking so long for it to go down. And he says crews found a point where the water is flowing without problems, but they did say that there is a point where it's backing up and he says their plan is to get a pump installed here to help drain the water. Now he still didn't know at last check when exactly that was happening, but meanwhile students affected are still figuring out what to do. We started an insurance claim and we're just waiting to hear back from that and we're just we're stuck obviously so we're and just sitting in our apartment. City staff tell us the challenge here is that the area they need to come from to pump the water is bound by railroad tracks on all three sides. So he says they're currently coordinating how is that they're going to do to get that pump here and start draining that water. Now, city staff also tell us that last night's storm was probably about a once every 25 years kind of storm because of how much rain fell and in how much time it did fall, John. The pictures say it all. Fernando, thank you for the update live near the UT campus tonight in the great